Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. The topic today is going to be really interesting. A good way to invest in your mutual funds or in uh, buying your individual equity. So this has become an eternal uh, dilemma against all the investors, whether you should buy as individual stocks or you should invest into uh, mutual funds. So uh, choosing between individual stocks during dips or investing through SAPs in mutual funds. So this becomes a very uh, difficult uh, thing amongst investors. So when uh, deciding between buying individual stocks during the market corrections or during market dips or in just going with your uh, uh, systematic way of investing during your uh, um, salary uh, credits into your mutual funds. So without further delay, let's find out which one is the best way or an ideal way for you. So before going into all of this, it is very essential to consider your investment goals, your risk tolerance and your uh, nature of your investment uh, journey as well or your investment strategy. So here's a breakdown of your uh, complete uh, approaches, what you could uh, do. So buying stocks during uh, market corrections or during dips, that's one of the most uh, effective way or a lucrative way of buying your stocks. So that can lead to a lot of uh, capital gains when the market recovers. So if you guys would have noticed, uh, Sangvi Movers, a very famous company in the market, which has got a very good financials and uh, very good uh, structure wise on the charts as well. So that happens to be uh, on a dip yesterday and today. So yesterday it was 15% down and today when the market opened, it went by 2%. Later it went till 10%. So I was trying to time the market. I was waiting for it to go all the way till 790. So that was the uh, support zone which it had. And uh, I was hoping that it will definitely hit that. And uh, it was like beyond my uh, expectation. The stock was like, uh, because it was trading somewhere between uh, 800 and uh, 55, 65 somewhat. So I was waiting for it to go down, go down. And uh, it went till 800. So I was hoping that it will definitely touch the value. However, to my uh, expectation, it never went to that price. I, I, when the market closed, I ended up buying that again at a price of uh, 835. So this is one of the biggest mistakes which everyone do because we can't time the market. So nobody can in fact time the market. So I expected it to go till 790, but uh, in fact it reached 800. So I was hoping that like I was uh, reluctant to buy at 800, hoping that I'll reduce eight more rupees and then buy that price. But it never went there. It automatically incremented to uh, uh, 835 and it closed around 832.33. So I bought it at 835 again when the market ended. So this is one of the biggest mistakes which all of us do when you try to time the market or when you try to uh, buy them at a lower uh, price and sell them at a higher price when it goes up in the market. So this strategy allows you to capitalize on short term uh, price fluctuations. And uh, the second important point to consider is like controlling your investments. So you have the autonomy on this, like we can decide when to buy, when not to buy and you, through your own R&D and your own tailor approach uh, investment strategy, you try to do things here. And there is no management fees in play here, unlike mutual funds uh, where uh, there is a fund manager who takes care of everything and who eats up a return rate of returns. So that is not uh, involved in this. You are your manager and you control everything here. So the disadvantage is the higher risk is because uh, as you are an individual uh, buying an individual stock there's a lot of uh, risk involved in it because if you notice that like uh, if a single stock is going to be like creating up a uh, uh, performance issue say for example Sangvi Movers it was one of the biggest allocation in my portfolio and yesterday it took a dip of 15% and again today it took a dip of 10%. So that added up a, a compounded a decrease of 25% in my portfolio decline. So that is like a very important risk which you need to consider when you're trying to buy individual script. Then the second important thing is your market timing challenges. So successfully timing, like I said, like how I today, I was trying to get into a price, rather I ended up into another higher price. So misjudging will always leading you to time loss and there is an active management required in you need to monitor the stocks analysis or the stocks ups and downs every few hours or few minutes and see how it is going to perform. So I've been tracking since morning. I spent almost all the day into this. I was keeping a track of the 15 minutes chart and see how it is performing and uh, what would be the price it would reach and when exactly I'll be able to uh, buy this stock at the very right price. However, I was not able to do that. At the end of the day, I bought it at a higher price. So this becomes like really uh, um, time consuming or you try to end up a lot of time into this. So this is not going to be something which is ideal for uh, uh, novice investors or amateur investors. So only people who are experienced in the market and who've got expertise in analyzing the stocks, they'll be able to buy this. 
even though you are an expert in the market you will never be able to get it the exact right price or the least dip that ever it goes to the day nobody will be able to predict that price actually so that is one of the biggest uh, flaws which we have in buying your individual stocks then the comes to the, your point of uh, investing through saps in your mutual funds so the advantage here is that it's going to be a pool of stocks so there's going to be diversification definitely in this so this is uh, as you all will know mutual fund is a pool money that uh, been invested by investors across different range of stocks for example as an example if i say like tata mutual fund a small cap fund if you choose there are over 65 to 75 stocks which has got invested into that pool there's a combination of all the stocks with the different uh, asset allocation values in each of them some would have a diversification value of 5% some may have like 10% some may have 15% or 2% 3% so there's going to be like a compounded growth of almost all 67 to 75 stocks so you'll be able to uh, adjust the uh, risk of one stock and the uh, gain of other stock into it so you get a compounded cagr of like 20 to 30% on a small cap fund so if it is a large cap fund you will get at somewhere at par between 15 to 16% roughly so definitely this is always going to be like beating up your inflation and beating up your nifty as well so the uh, large cap funds are almost like always uh, 2 to 3% over your um, nifty gains so nifty has like always given like a 12% cagr over the past 20 years all of us would know that so this small cap or large cap funds are able to uh, mitigate that and get over the above over that so the large cap funds give 2 to 3% and the small caps give 10 to 15% so always people try to go towards these small cap funds and they try to uh, make sure that uh, you are getting up a lot of returns through this but when the market is head when the market goes into a deep correction say for example covid kind of a scenario all of your uh, investments are going to be at a toss they are all are going to come down i experiences with my own uh, knowledge because uh, 2016 to 2020 i was investing for 4 years continuously on an sap route on mutual funds and i had a very good portfolio all in green and then came your covid my entire portfolio was in red overnight so the march it was like bloodbath in the market and all of my mutual funds were just showing 50% of the value so i was like really panicking i was thinking should i sell them but uh, i never took that way and i started simply uh, are uh, investing more and more into this so there comes the concept of uh, rupee cost averaging so the sap allows you to invest a fixed amount regularly whichever means you buy you buy like uh, you can buy more units when your prices are low and you buy fewer units when the prices are high so this is the rupee cost averaging that's what exactly happened with me during the covid days when the market boomed again back in 2021 i was able to make up a lot of profit the profit which i had before covid that was like almost two folds when the market recovered after the uh, um, covid rally so that is like one of the biggest advantages for me so uh, i then also took the route of individual stock buying as well that time so that also gave me a good returns but uh, irrespective of that i was to like always be in the market and focus on what exactly is the market trend which stock is going besides the stock performance you need to also find out which sector is performing because there's always a cyclical sector which happens in the market so the it could be like a green energy sector today tomorrow it could be like industrial sector later it could be psu banks then it could be finance so this sector allocation or the sector cycle happens always in the market so you needs to be uh, always uh, vigilant in the market find out what is happening in and around the market and you need to make sure your uh, investments or your uh, script selection is in par with your market trends and how exactly is the market behaving and coming to the disadvantages of your mutual funds there's a management fee which is incurred because there's a fund manager who always take care of your uh, portfolio he is the one who is like uh, getting you the returns so that is uh, all uh, funds which are having a management fee so we call them as expense ratio so that expense ratio you need to incur then again you have very less control in this market because you have limited control over your investments you wouldn't know what is the mutual fund uh, are uh, holding or like what is the script that they have bought because they keep changing it every now and then for example if you go for a quant mutual fund they keep changing them every 15 to 20 days if you go for other mutual funds they try to change it at a period of 3 months or 2 months things like that so it all under the discretion of the fund manager and he holds all that uh, power to buy and sell script and they know which script to buy because they are in with the market trends they know like which cycle uh, which sector cyclically is performing good and they'll be able to uh, allocate the funds into that particular sector and um, 
as they are like keep on changing up these fund allocations, there is a potential chance of lower returns because uh, with the diversification and all of this, they are able to mitigate the risk. However, the growth may not be as successful as buying an individual stock. Because if you, had, if you had bought, uh, say for example, Tata Motors during uh, the COVID hit, it was somewhere between 170 rupees or things. I bought that during uh, the uh, COVID hit and it rallied all the way till 1200 now. So that is the kind of rally which you'll be able to see. I bought for 200, I sold for 1000. So almost a 500% growth I was able to achieve in Tata Motors alone when I bought it as an individual script. But if you happen to buy this during um, any other mutual fund through the mutual fund route, you wouldn't be able to find out like which mutual fund has like invested into it and how much percentage of allocation has gone into it. But you will be able to have a very peace of mind, a cool, a relaxed lifestyle without any kind of a stress into it. You need not time the market, you need not worry about who is there in the market, what comes in the market, if the market is on a recession, if it is in a correction phase or if the nifty has gone down by 200 points or 1000 points because all of us would know because on the June 4th when the election results were out the market was on a deepest uh, down hit and the same value we all experienced just day before as well again the market was at the same place so a one and a half month of futile uh, growth it went all the way up it came again back to the same place it's again booming up since yesterday so this is a cycle and uh, whoever has invested on June 4th their portfolio will again stand at the same place where it is now so that's kind of thing which happens. So if you have invested using the mutual fund route, what could have happened is like you would have bought the last month and again you would be buying this month, uh, June 4th and August 4th. So you'll be able to buy somewhere between a dip value or something. So it automatically happens. It's all upon the market's own scenario and the mutual funds SAP date that you have always chosen. It's always preferable to go with the beginning of the month where uh, the uh, every month the cycle automatically changes in the market if it is going to be a bull cycle or a bearish cycle in the market so uh, in the beginning of the month or during the end of the month so these kind of mutual fund investments are always uh, better for investors who prefer more as a passive income investment strategy because you don't want to uh, take up any risk diversification because you have a professional business to manage and you don't want to take care of these kind of stress and tensions in your life. That's always ideal for all those kind of users. It also depends upon a risk tolerance. If you have a higher appetite and if you are targeting for uh, more returns, somewhere more than 40% or 50%, you can definitely go for uh, buying up individual scripts. So if you happen to see there is a script, there's not any stock accommodation by any means. There's a script name which is Shakti Pumps. So that company has been given almost like um, a 1600% growth in the past uh, one years of rally. The company is really good fundamentally and they are really good in technical. Even if you go and analyze uh, some kind of uh, PSU uh, defense kind of stocks, if it is Mazagon Dog or if it's going to be like uh, GRSC. So these companies, they all have given a rally of 800 to 600% over the past eight months. So these companies are really good, but you need to find out if you are able to find exactly that script and you are able to catch them. Because uh, if you are trying to go with the word of mouth, like your friend is buying, the other person is like recommending you, there is always a curve because every stock will automatically take a curve and uh, it takes up that position. The hype automatically increases in the market and you trend to buy here. Everybody sells their script, they all come down and you always stand there with the higher price, the price of the stock has automatically gone down. This exactly happens in many scripts. It has happened with me as well and it would have definitely happened with you as well. If it has happened with you, do leave a comments as well on which script it has happened with you. I have experienced this with a lot of my scripts as well. There was one more script in the market which is Wari Renewables. All of us would have known the most uh, famous uh, script in the market, a small cap script, which went almost over uh, um, 2500% uh, growth almost like 2500% of growth it gave and it was in its all time high 6000 7000 rupees it went and uh, it took a split it went to 1000 rupees again it went on a rally to 2000 a lot of people started buying there and after that it automatically went on a sharp correction it's trading somewhere between 800 to 900 i guess so this automatically happens in script picking so when you try to buy an individual script it automatically goes for a toss if you are not a pro you'd always end up losing up your money and uh, 
if you don't have any kind of these expertise it's always better to stay with your mutual fund route so that you are safe at least and you'll be able to get a good night's sleep without any kind of a stress or tension you need not see your portfolio in red because mutual funds normally show you always green things the the percentage of profit could be less maybe like 10% or 15% worst case 20% but you will be able to have a very good night's sleep without any kind of a stress not knowing if your script will go on a down if it will go for a minus um, 5% circuit uh, or a plus 5% circuit so this gives you a lot of excitement in the market if you are young and if you want to try a script out try to allocate a little bit portion of your uh, portfolio into this or 5 or 10% and try to go with your um, buying up your individual script if you prefer a passive investment style of strategy sap would be the best option so consider for a long financial goals and uh, if you wanted a like really good compounded return and uh, if you wanted like really uh, safer returns then definitely go with the mutual funds if you are a little bit greedy like me or with others if you wanted to like make up that additional 5 10 percent then go with the individual uh, stock picking it is really risky unless and until you don't know uh, how exactly this is going to perform and uh, if you strike goal then it is definitely going to be skyrocketing you are going to make like 100 to 100 300 percent but there would be another script which could be like automatically dragging you down so end of the day it's all going to be the same like the uh, mutual fund route would have compounded over years and it would have taken you to like uh, 20 30 percent of growth for uh, one year or two years even the um, the individual script picking would have taken you to 100 percent on the in initial run you are buying three script one of them takes you to 100 percent another one takes you to 20 percent the another one goes for a minus 40 percent so they will automatically consolidate and come again to the same 20 to 30 percent which your mutual fund is going to give so i would definitely recommend you that if it all depends upon your uh, risk appetite and up your own uh, individual uh, stock picking analysis and your own uh, way of mitigating your risk if you are an expert and a pro and if you wanted to try that extra luck try definitely going with uh, your uh, individual way of stock picking and if you are a novice and you wanted to focus on your business and have a very good night's sleep without any kind of a stress or uh, tensions in your financial things go with your mutual fund route there are a lot of mutual funds which gives you like 20 30 percent of growth every year so um, it's all up to your discretion so do leave your comments below on what exactly is your way of uh, investing in the market if you are investing your sap route or if you are in your uh, uh, mutual fund route so for more financial tips and investment ideas like share and subscribe to this video as well so that this video could get shared with a lot of other people and friends like you i'll catch you up in the next one thanks for watching